have you ever had trouble letting go of a failed relationship or worse, are you struggling to get rid of someone? Well, according to psychic Paul Fenton-Smith, you may be held together with a psychic energy cord. And Paul joins us now to explain. Good morning. Good morning, Paul. I don't understand what a psychic energy cord is. Well, basically, we have invisible cords of energy that link us to people we're drawn to. So uh, when a relationship finishes, that cord's been formed and it, and it still exists. So sometimes, if you don't cut that cord, what happens is you keep thinking about your partner from the past. I mean, it happens. Sometimes you'll be thinking about a girlfriend or a friend and then they ring within two or three yeah, minutes because yeah. that cord's there and part of you knows that. Isn't you know? that telepathy? Yeah, it, it, you could say it, but, but telepathy's using a cord to, to send that information as well. So Who? do you... Do you actually physically see these cords? Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah. So, do you see a cord between us? Not between us. <laughs> Heaven Don't forbid. You, come on. Woman. Well, I'm but sure you, but you do, some. you do. You work, I see two or three cords actually between, between the two of you. But you do when you're working with people and when you're living with them, you're spending time with them, you'll form cords all the time. And in everyday circumstances, if you have one day interaction with somebody, the cord will fall away in a couple of weeks anyway. But it's those deeper ones, uh, parents and children, love relationship partners, those sort of things that can hold on for a long time. You know? do, they, do they connect at different points? I mean, do they, they do, come they from do. your head, your yeah, heart, do, your, your groin, so, heaven forbid? Yeah, they do. So <laughs> basically, if a cord comes out of your heart, it means you love somebody. If it comes into the back, it means they love you. So often when I've got female clients, I'll see their dad's caught into the back of them and dad wants to tell me that he loves them, but he doesn't tell them. So he, those stoic sort of dads that say, oh, that's okay. And then, then he tells all the neighbours how well she's doing at school or at university or that sort of thing, but he'll never tell her, you know? Right, all right. Well, we're talking about these are these are a love cords, essentially, aren't they, where you have that close yeah. connection. But yeah. but what happens when, when that cord in your back is someone hanging on to you that yeah, you yeah. sort of can't so, brush well, off? Well, th th that's often the case, where you, um, you've let of a relationship but they haven't let go. And one of the strange things that happens is if you're in a relationship and you separate and then six months later you meet somebody new, what happens? The old partner rings you up. You never had that? The old partner rings you up? You the know, old partner I have gets actually in, had that happen. Yeah, yeah. And so they can feel you pulling away. They can feel that cord uh, being broken and they're thinking, well, you're going away, you know? Uh, I give an example when uh, my son, f since he was very small, lived in the country with his mum and I used to meditate, cut all my cords every night and he wang me one uh, the next morning at about 6.15 in the morning saying, hi dad, I dreamt you went away. And so I knew I'd cut that cord. So after that, every time I cut the cords, I'd think of him and re-establish the cord so I could sleep in and he wouldn't feel like I'd gone away. So, yeah, why, on, you, why would you, you do that? Sorry, yeah, OK. Yeah. Well, well I, at the end of the day, I want to cut all the cords to all of my clients, to all the people around you, because the more cords you've got, the more people can pull you off centre. So, for instance, if, if I'm holding on to you and we were in a relationship four years ago and you've moved on, every time I pull on that cord, it just takes you a little bit off centre in your life. And if you do that often enough, then you go a long way from where you originally started right. out in your life. You well, know? All right, so if you've got, if you've got a positive cord connection but that person is hoping to sever that cord, how does that affect the okay, positive okay. one that you have? Yeah, okay, you then you, I mean? you need to be graceful, you need to let them go. If they, if they want to be out of your life, you need to let them go, you know? The only, the only cords that are very hard to, to break are karmic cords, often between parents and children. That's why you can't lie to your mum and get away with it, you know? You have that cigarette on the way home from school and she's waiting in the doorway. Anything you want to tell me? Well, she can <laughs> smell it, Paul. Yeah. She can smell it. Well, there is that old thing. Yeah. But, it, but it is funny, it's all, it, it is that thing that, you know, my mother will often say that I, that I, she was thinking of me right as I called. She'll often do exactly, that. Is yeah. that the, the Exactly. Connection. I've got a sister sends me what she calls mental messages. Ring me up, ring me up. She lives 10 hours north of me. So my phone bill starts climbing and climbing and climbing. Eventually got this really expensive phone bill. So one day I thought to myself, look, I rang yesterday, we spoke for an hour, I've got nothing else to say, I'm not ringing you. And then two hours goes past, three hours, then you get this, uh, this phone call. Didn't you get my mental message? Yes, and you got mine. No! <laughs> oh! <laughs> You've made her ring you back. So these cords still exist between uh, the living and, and the dead? Yeah, they do. And that's How are you going to... Sorry, go on. Okay, so sometimes when I'm doing pure clairvoyance readings, I'll trace it out and your mum's passed over and this is what she to say and that's my theory of why soulmates know each other when they meet each other because they, their cord is, has traveled through lifetimes you know you just have that connection you know so, well how can you perhaps you want might want to sever that cord how do you sever that okay. cord yeah with there somebody? are a number so, of processes okay, that there you are go meditation is one of the simplest ways to do it but always i'd be asking is what do i need to resolve in order to sever this what do i need to finish so if the relationship's finished badly for instance uh, in a previous relationship do i need to apologize do i need to write a letter do i need to ask for forgiveness do i need to forgive the person and release them so that i why can be free why is that important paul well just if if i'm if I, don't, if I don't release that person I'm holding on to them, what, my next relationship's going to suffer, isn't so, it? You know? So you're saying you can't release them unless you actually well, no, no, deal no. with it? In, in most cases you can. You'll just, you'll say you goodbye can't just machete and, it and yeah. get rid of them? Well, if the, I'm just saying if there's something unresolved <laughs> that you need to actually do, you know, you okay. need to actually clear up. You know, sometimes people do this. They'll finish your relationship and then they become bitter about it or there's something unresolved. And there, you know, you know, the other thing people do is they take off and, and go on a holiday. Have you ever done that where you just... 
You just have to get away from everything exactly. and you get on a plane. And, and that's the interesting thing because over oceans, most cords except for karmic cords will be broken. And that's why people feel so alive when they're uh, you're well, traveling just, through Europe. Just automatically if you yeah, fly yeah, over, over salt water. That's why at the end of every day that I'm working, I have a salt bath, immerse myself up to here, so much for the water restrictions, but, but I have to do it because it keeps me absolutely assented. You know, and how, how long are you in that bath for, given that just, you just, probably had carried these cords yeah, from the, your clients all yeah, day? Yeah, all day, yeah. So I'm only in for 10 or 15 minutes. If you live near the ocean, you dump into the sea, that would, that would be even better. You know, but it, all the bath, there's uh, sea salt in the bath is just replicating the ocean. So therefore, is that a, is that a cure for those people that are going through a very difficult breakup? Absolutely, mm. you know? just jump in the water. Uh, yeah, get, get in the ocean. If you get in the ocean every day, some years ago in the 80s, I had a friend of mine, and he was a postie near where I used to live, and I separated from a relationship. I was really depressed for a few months, and so he used to turn up at the door at 4:15 in the afternoon and say, "Let's go snorkeling." He took me snorkeling every day for a whole summer, and it was just amazing under the water in the ocean. I just he was healing me, and doing it in a boy's way. I can't listen to you. I can't hear you go through. All this just get you in the water mm. shut up and you'll feel better <laughs> well, what if what if you've then gone to all of that trouble and you've you've cut that cord you've separated you've dealt with it in dealt with, yep. with whatever emotion there is to deal yep. with and what if they keep sending that cord okay back then to i'll just keep cutting it until i uh, fade out of their life until i fade to gray so you might need to cut it say for two months in a row and then eventually they'll realize they can't keep coming back because there's nothing there you, know, you can't sort of set up a force field of energy no no because the, the whole idea is when i'm doing this i do this in my <coughs> psyche development courses actually i'm running one in melbourne this weekend but but when i'm when people ask me how well their protection works i ask them to protect themselves white light blue light gold light whatever and then i find a cord to their parent or child i'm straight in. It's like taking the freeway straight in and it takes me four seconds longest. It's, it's the longest it's ever taken me to get through to their protection. So forget it. If you've got any cause to anyone, you're going to have, you, people are going to be able to get in. So what you need to do is cleanse yourself as regularly as you can. You know, yeah. It wouldn't matter in most cases, but in cases where you're doing, dealing with energy yeah, like I am. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Paul, just, be, just quickly, uh, we've met you a number of times. You use various psychic avenues to connect yeah. and predict and so on. Yeah. How relevant is the psychic cord in your work? Okay, it's, it's pretty important because clients are coming to me and they're wanting information and I've got to get the information. Psychic cords are the quickest way because as soon as I describe a few people around, they relax and I've got the link I need, you know, to keep going, you know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Fascinating subject, right? Thank you. Always good to talk to you. Thank You're you, going to stick around with us I for am? the rest yeah. of the day and do yeah. some, some readings and stuff. Thank you.